What is up guys, it is the Gaming News Stuff here and today I'm bringing you a quick little Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes update video. So let's jump straight over to the forums. I have a lot of tabs open because I forget to close them whenever I go to the forums. It's the only thing I even use the uh, Safari for here on this iPad. But if we come into here to update for the 3rd of the 5th, the day before, May the 4th be with you, which is currently today in Australia, and probably by the time you see this video, it will be today for you Americans as well. But, let's have a look. So, the first thing that stood out to me here is, there is a new PvE version of Ray that has been added to Cantina Battle 4G and 7F. Now, we're going to have a good look at this afterwards, and see what it's all about, and have a look. And the other thing, which I think is a bit weird, is Wedge Antilles is the new Orodium Pack character, which will appear at 4pm Pacific Time. And now it says, because I've never heard of an Orodium Pack, and a lot of you probably haven't either, but it says Orodium Packs only appear for players who have spent 200 US dollars or more, or the regional equivalent on the game. That's a fuckload of money, man. Like, I... Cool with you if you're a pay-to-play player, sweet. But like, I don't even didn't even know all Rodian packs were a thing. Maybe they're new, maybe they're not. But that is a lot of money, man. Like I have spent what fifteen bucks on this game when I bought a pack for you guys last video. But we've now come back to Star Wars: Gates of Heroes, and we're going to have a look at this new PVE ray and see what it is. So as you can see here, right here. Right in the middle where it says Hollow Table Battle 4G, there is Ray with a freaking lightsaber? What? That's not a character in the game. We all know Ray as, you know, standard Ray with her big stick, which we'll see in a sec. So we're going to jump into this battle and see how we go. We all know Ray in this form. As you can see here, nice big stick. Stick Ray. Now, let's jump in and have a look at exactly what PvE Ray is. Now, I have a feeling that PvE Ray is actually what they've been doing to us with Luke Skywalker and all of that. And it's going to basically be an alternate version of Ray that we aren't allowed to have because she's going to be only PvE. Like Luke Skywalker, um, what's it called? Luke Skywalker Jedi? Uh, Darth Sidious as the Emperor, in case you've seen him, and up until recently, Han Solo in normal form as opposed to, uh, what's it called, uh, Stormtrooper form. So we are just going to fly through this battle so we can have a look at PvE Ray, because I'm interested in seeing if she's actually good or if she's just, just a character they wanted to add to add a bit more diversity to the game or what not so not a difficult battle being in 4g it's definitely not the hardest battle that you can face so if you want to have a good look at ray by yourself for whatever reason you can but it's gonna be pretty sick i imagine she's gonna be quite powerful i hope i always had that problem everything that ray is currently in she doesn't have a lightsaber I know that in the movie she only used the lightsaber a little bit, but she still used it and she's a Jedi. So that's been my issue with most Star Wars merchandise at the moment. She's always got her big stick, but never her lightsaber. So in this game might be the first one to truly add her in with a lightsaber. And that's exciting to see Rey being a Jedi. And there she is, the final boss, Rey in brackets, Star Killer Base. So Ray with a freaking lightsaber. Let's see how she goes. So she actually seems like she's got quite a bit of health. Let's try not to kill her so that we can see some sort of attack. Now I'm assuming this will mean if she comes out as a character, the Ray is classed as a Jedi. Ooh, that was a cool looking attack. But yeah, so I assume she'll be classed as a Jedi and she has counter attack. Mate, okay, so this new Ray, although there is an error with my connection, that's not what's important. 
because I could just click try again probably a hundred times right now and it ain't gonna work so we'll just turn the Wi-Fi off quickly and then turn it back on and now it'll work for some reason so that was a quick look at the brand new Ray. Um, hopefully she's made a character I don't think she will be but she's a cool looking model you know she's only got a lightsaber that's the only difference really but she looks like she's got some cool abilities and also, if any of you guys have spent over $200 and you do buy Wedge Antilles in the Orodium pack, make sure to let me know down below if he's a good character and link me to a video of him if you have one. Anyway guys, make sure to like this video for more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes update videos. Comment down below about what you think of this new character and if she should be a character. And subscribe for more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes videos. And peace out.